Hi, I'm Billy Hudgens from Milton, Florida. I have been cycling for over 20 years now, and I run a YouTube channel called Blackwater Cyclist that I've been doing for four years now, where I do product reviews. Be sure to check out my channel. You'll be able to see the review on these glasses. Back in 2018, I was hit by a car, and the only reason I survived was because I looked back and I could see the car coming, and I was able to lean to avoid the car. Now the tri-eye glasses, they allow me to do this all the time, and this is what helped me get back on the road. Now in this video, I wanna show you how to actually use your tri-eye glasses. Before we get into the actual details of using your glasses on the bike, if you think about mirrors in the real world, most people will have to turn their head to see the mirrors. Now most people who buy tri-eye glasses, they think, hey, I'll be able to look forward and see behind me at the same time. That's not how this works. Uh, like I said, no mirror system works that way in the real world. Whenever you drive a car or motorcycle or on a boat, you have a mirror to the side. You have to turn your head, look at the mirror to be able to see behind you. You have to take your eyes off the road to briefly glance at the mirror to see what's going on behind you. Same thing with the tri-eye glasses. You do have to look at the mirror to be able to see behind you, briefly taking your eyes off the road ahead of you. First thing we wanna do is have the glasses be comfortable in your face. And to do that, you can adjust the nose piece. The nose piece, you will pinch it together. You see it stays together like that. And then you'll put it on. And then after you put it on, you'll push the glasses down on your nose. And as you do that, the nose piece will actually form to your nose and they'll be extremely comfortable. To set up your mirror, you will just easily grab the mirror and you'll be able to rotate it inward, outward, upward, or downward. So it has as many adjustments as possible. And whenever you do the adjustments, what you wanna do is you wanna be able to look at the mirror as you're looking straight ahead and line the mirror up where your cheek is on the inside of the mirror and the top of your shoulder is at the bottom of the mirror. Now what that will do is that will line up the mirror so whenever you do go to look behind you by tilting your head that 10 to 15 degrees and you'll be able to see the cars coming up behind you. Now all of us are different riders. So some of us may sit more upright, some of us may sit more aggressive and lower. And the tri-eye glasses, we designed them to be able to be used in any position whatsoever. Now, if you are in a low position, so you're down in the drops or in a TT position and you're really low, obviously you can see that your head drops and your shoulder drops. So your shoulder is going to be in the way of the mirror a little bit. The way you overcome that is you will tilt your head once again, 10 to 15 degrees to the side, but you also have to cock your head a little bit like that. And then you should be able to see the cars behind you. Now, if you're in a more upright position, you won't have to do that, obviously. Uh, more upright, you'll be able to just turn your head to the side and see behind you. Now, you can, once again, adjust that mirror to pick what part of the shoulder you want to expose to help you in being able to see the cars behind you. Now, just remember, it will take about two or three rides before you get used to this. Now, for me and others who have used these sunglasses, it has become second nature to us. I even will be walking down the road on the sidewalk with normal sunglasses and I will tilt my head to the side to look behind me just because it has become so natural for me to do that. Now that your tri-eye glasses are set up, you're ready to ride.